TikTok, one of the most popular apps in the U.S. More than 150 million Americans log on at least once a month. That's half the population. And a new study from the University of Minnesota found those using it to find mental health help may end up finding just the opposite. WCCO's Alan Henry spoke to those researchers about what they found and what parents need to know. For many, TikTok has quickly become their main source of news, entertainment, and creativity. I've tried to like stop a little bit, but it's hard because when you scroll, like you see a video and then you just keep scrolling because you see the same videos and then it's just like addicting. But for users looking at mental health content, the app can be a double-edged sword. The For You page is an infinite scroll, right? So you, you're not going to reach the bottom of it. And so people will just keep scrolling and keep scrolling. And as they interacted with this mental health content, they would get more and more of it. Computer scientists at the University of Minnesota are studying the impact TikTok's algorithm is having on its users who view mental health content, a popular category. A sample of 100 videos had been viewed more than 1.3 billion times. These platforms provide a lot of social value to people in validating their experiences and making people feel less alone. But there is also a downside. They call it the runaway train. Oftentimes, if you're a person who may be struggling with depression, you may not want to see over and over and over those negative experiences and that triggering information. And TikTok will continue to give you that if you interact with the content. As they continue to study the impact of TikTok's feed, the scientists say it's important to recognize when your time or your kid's time on the app is doing more harm than good. It's complicated and it's important to consider different ways that you could use TikTok that might mitigate some of the negative aspects. Alan Henry, WCCO News. The researchers behind the study are traveling to Germany this weekend to present their findings at a conference. If you'd like to read their full findings, we've posted a link on our website, WCCO.com.